the regular high school football season may be over for now, but in Bastrop, one junior varsity player is still living with the injuries he received during a game on September 29th. As KXN's Brittany Glass explains, the family is struggling to find out just how severe those injuries may be. I just remember uh, feeling the hit, seeing the lights. I told him I couldn't feel my legs and I just felt pain in my mid back and my neck. And I looked and he was just laying on the field and he, he wasn't moving. Sophomore Weston Naro was walked off the field. His dad drove him to the hospital. He was for sure that yes, he's had a concussion um, and possibly some nerve damage in his neck. Weston spent much of the last two months in a wheelchair. Doctors are concerned about his balance, but his dad says they're still waiting to get an MRI thanks to delays with insurance. Back and forth with everything, you know, hey, you know, our insurance is going to pay for this or and it's well, you pay for it. My mom struggling to try to find appointments and then I can see my dad also making calls. Weston is now walking with a cane, but it's no clean bill of health. If there is something wrong with Weston's neck or in his, ner you know, his nervous system, you know, if it, we have to find out. We can't wait. The end goal, his health and returning to the game. Uh, I love playing and watching football and I would love to play again. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. We reached out to Bastrop ISD to find out what is covered under the school's insurance if a student gets hurt while playing a sport. Here's what they tell us. The school's insurance kicks in if something happens in practice, in a game, or an athletics class. The district says they do cover the premium and supplemental insurance is available if the parents opt in. Now the supplemental insurance covers up to $25,000. If both the private and supplemental insurance are maxed out, the district's catastrophic plan kicks in, but the district says that is extremely rare. This is not the only serious injury we've seen on the field in recent months. You might remember in October, a 14-year-old was airlifted to the hospital after he was hurt during football practice. This happened at West Ridge Middle School. That student was conscious when he was taken off the field. Every year, thousands of student athletes get hurt playing sports. Most of those injuries do not get reported, though. Before the high school football season started, KXAN set out to find out why. We found the University Interscholastic League, or UIL, only requires about 16% of schools in Texas to report football injuries. We took a look at pilot programs to track injuries, and you can find that special report on KXAN.com.